uh, I'd like to argue that the real value of the internet is in its human network of users, and that a discussion of core internet, internet values must begin with a consideration of the human values of those users. Do users value the end-to-end -end principle, uh, an open innovation system, a unified and secure route, the most version modern of IP? If they do, I would argue that most of them don't know it. I'd suggest that uh, instead users value the internet as an expression of their deeper values and aspirations. Expression, collaboration, dissent, freedom, democracy, family, friendship, community, opportunity, justice, even fun, which is something I don't think anyone talks about at IGF, but it's a reason why a lot of people go online. The Internet Governance community is a very smart collective of experts, engineers, business and NGO leaders, and lawyers. Unfortunately, a democracy of experts is not a democracy at all, but a technocracy. I find it ironic that the Internet is known as a communication system that enables participation and collaboration, and it's at its best democracy like no other system society has ever known, and yet its inner workings and its governance are opaque to the vast majority of its users and aspiring users and your constituents. Um, also ironic that we, pri pro <clears throat> excuse me, we prize the innovation space the internet, internet provides, its low barriers to entry, yet the barriers to governance are so high, starting with the barriers of awareness. Uh, where will our new ideas in internet governance and policy come from if we have an insular community of, of governance? So I'd end with a question and a challenge for all of us. How can we make internet governance as democratic as the experiences of internet use? Uh, where are the strategies for grassroots engagement and awareness raising that democracy requires? <laughs>